everyone can afford to exhibit alone and that's why group exhibitions are important. You get to save money and work with like minds as well. That's why on this week's edition of At House, we'll be looking at two group exhibitions, one from the Negro Art Gallery, then the other at the Thought Pyramid Art Center in Nigeria's Commercial Center, Lagos. I'm Melinda Akinwami. Great to have you join us. Everything interesting I found in books. It was books that made me aware of the variety of the world. Whenever the grass looks greener on the other side, stop staring, stop comparing, stop complaining and start watering the grass you're standing on. Life in my city is an art fiesta which gives artists the opportunity to capture the living conditions in their environment. It's a traveling exhibition which has been moving to many Nigerian cities. Art House got a chance to see it when it came to Lagos. The idea was conceived in the cold city Anugu, but the organizers are far away from home. Moving to the southwest in Lagos State for this exhibition, which intends to touch seven other Nigerian cities Abuja, Ibadan, Auchi, Kaduna, Potakot, Uyo, Calabar, and Enugu. As artists from these zones will be competing for the top prize in the Life in My City Festival. It's a national art competition for artists who are less than 35 years of age. Um, and we have seven zones across the country. So this is the last of the uh, zonal exhibition. Now, um, entries are submitted online nationally, and this year we had a total of four, more than 400 entries, out of which, from the first round, 363 artworks were selected to be exhibited across the seven zones. Now, Lagos Zone Exhibition is having 72 artworks and out of these 72 artworks 18 19 of them are going to be selected to be part of what we call the top 100 best artworks from young contemporaries in nigeria the theme is twilight and the organizers are looking at how the lagos canvas is interpreting this are the artists capture what it means to stay in a city where the hustle is real? Annually, you have a theme under the major um, theme of life in my city. Life in my city is a big umbrella, but for each year, you decide which particular theme they are going to work with. Uh, and in that respect, the artists are expected to engage, to interrogate that theme using any artistic medium of their choice. Over 30 artists are participating in this competition, organized in several stages, starting with collection of the entries, local exhibition in those eight cities to the highlights of the festival. Using different media, these young talents explain what they have brought to the table. My first work is titled Okola Obere which means the tribal mark woman. Now, in this life of, in our current generation, people seem being mutilated as something bad. You know, no man will, no woman will want his child to be mutilated. Nobody will want the tribal mark to be given to the child. And this has been part of our heritage, part of our culture. So many people don't really understand the meaning of tribal mark. So tribal mark goes as far as in the times of our forefathers during war. It's a means of identification. We use it to identify our families, our brothers and sisters in anywhere they are, you know. Like when there's a double tribal mark, it might be like to a family. You know, when you go in search of someone, you can be like, I'm looking for someone with double tribal mark and you can identify the person. So it's also used 
as a means of beauty to beautify the women. You know, the Yoruba see it as a means of beauty. And also in the Igbo land, they also see it as um, a means of identification for someone from the royal family. Like from the Yoruba side, when a tribal mark is coming from the head down to the cheeks, it means you are from the royal family. So the woman with her expression, she's looking back into those things that that made Africa, that made our culture and tradition, and looking at how them, how they are washed away gradually because of the modern society. This exhibition is themed um, Twilight. So in that essence, I, I titled my work Attacking the Foundation. The Twilight in the sense that um, if we come to the society, we have a lot of ills and a lot of um, problems we are facing. And it feels as if we artists have to start um, speaking out with the little way we can and preferring solutions to the problems we face. So my work basically is talking about how we come together to tackle the problems that we face in our society. Most of what I used were found objects because I was looking for a situation whereby I can use what has been discarded to create something new. And um, judging from what I have seen and what I created, I think it was a success. titled Paradigm. Paradigm is like um, the normal way of doing things, you know, the norms of how we do things. So I'm trying to say that three light paradigm. Paradigm, norms, three light to me is like a change in state of something. You understand? So what I'm trying to depict here is the human mind. I envisage the human mind as a key. The human mind is key to everything. It's a key to doors. Whatever you want to achieve in life, it starts from your mind. From that piece, we can see two keys. One is facing up, another one facing down, meaning you have two choices, the right or the wrong, positive or negative. If you want to change from the normal way of how people do things. It all starts from your mind. My work here actually talks about people. People and their relations to both light and color. It's titled Penumbra, and the meaning of Penumbra is almost shadow, which means while there is darkness, there is still light there. And that light is what I believe is the twilight. Now, people, I believe, are made for the light. We are the light of the world. And we are made for the light at the end of the tunnel. So when people now come in contact with this light at the end of the tunnel, it's at that point when we can now see color and feel color and experience it. And for artists, it's at that point we can work with this color. So yeah, that's certainly what I'm trying to say. There's Tainted Chronicles, Inner Strength, The End and the Beginning, We Are the Future, my story, tragedy, and the list goes on. I'm trying to pass a message to the young ones. Instead of us trying to play the blame game, when you see somebody trying to do something, you know, comments from here and there telling you that like, ah, is it now that you want to start it? Instead of that, we should try and embrace ourselves in unity and move forward. I, I have a saying I usually say like, blacks are the, we are the one enslaving ourselves. Nobody has enslaved us. Even despite being free from our colonial masters, we still live in the shadows of being enslaved by our own thoughts and are looking down on ourselves. Let's start asking questions that need to be asked. You know, questions don't um, answer themselves until we open our mouths to ask. We don't need to be saying, ah, that we were too poor or nobody is too poor, everything has been provided for us. It's just let us dig into the natural resources that we have and make use of it wisely. If we say tree light, we want tree light, or tree light as a word, a change of state. 
that's what tree light is. If you want that change, if you want that metamorphosis, it starts from your mind. The best 100 works of art will be selected in these zones to feature in the grand finale exhibition in Enugu. Art gives you a window to the world. Those artists have just showed us where art and tourism meet. And their colleagues at the Negro Art Gallery in Lagos are doing so.